Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you one of my family's favorite recipes. So let's get started. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and it's that time of year again, Thanksgiving. So today what I'm going to show you is my ricotta pumpkin no-bake cheesecake. It's super duper good and easy to make. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my ricotta and pumpkin no-bake cheesecake. So the first thing that I'll start out with is I have a package and a half of graham crackers. I'll crush them. I have one stick of melted butter. I'll combine it with the graham crackers to make my crust. I have one deep dish pie plate. You could also use a food processor as well. Now that my graham crackers are crushed, I'll get a bowl, combine my graham crackers and butter together, mix it. I'll place the graham cracker and butter mixture in my pie plate and then press it down. And this will be my crust for my ricotta pumpkin no-bake cheesecake. So in my bowl, I have my one stick of melted butter. I'll place that in. Give the graham crackers one more crush. Good enough. Now I'll place my crushed graham crackers in the butter. I'll get a fork and mix it. This ricotta pumpkin no-bake cheesecake is great for Thanksgiving. Alrighty. So now I'll place this mixture in my pie plate. Press it down. I didn't crush the graham crackers really fine. You can if you'd like. And that's what it looks like. Now I'll go wash my hands. So I'll place this off to the side. In my mixer, I'll place one 32 ounce container of ricotta cheese. To one cup of powdered sugar. And I'll mix this until it's well combined. I'll scrape down my sides, making sure everything's mixed good.
to my ricotta cheese, I'll be adding in two cups of the pumpkin puree. There's one. Here's my second cup. And it's about half of this 29 ounce can. To this, I'll be adding in a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. and a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Now I'll mix this until it's all well combined. Now I'll scrape down my sides. I want to make sure it's all mixed good. Can't wait for company to come over for Thanksgiving. I'll be having family and friends. Let me place this off to the side. Get a spoon. This is really good. Now that I have this mixture mixed, I'll place this off to the side in a separate bowl. I have one 16 ounce container of heavy whipping cream. To this heavy whipping cream, I'll also add in a half a cup of powdered sugar and I'll mix it until it forms a stiff peak. Once it forms a stiff peak, then I'll blend it into my pumpkin mixture. Place it in my graham cracker crust. Put it in the fridge for a couple hours. This recipe that I'm showing you will make two no-bake pumpkin ricotta cheesecakes. So I'll place my mixture off to the side. In my mixer, I have one 16 ounce container of heavy whipping cream. I'll pour it in. Once I see soft peaks, then I'll add in a half a cup of powdered sugar and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now I'll add in my half a cup of powdered sugar and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. and the vanilla, and then you'll mix this until it forms a stiff peak. Turn my mixer off. You can see the nice stiff peaks.
I'll scrape the sides. See how nice that looks? So now I'll fold this into my pumpkin mixture. I'll do a little at a time. And I'm just folding the whipped cream in. Do a little more. For the holidays, you like to have something quick and easy too. You don't want to spend all your time cooking. You want to be able to have time with your friends and family. put the rest in. Fold it in. And remember, this recipe does make two pies. I'm making one of these pies for after our Thanksgiving dinner. This will be our dessert. And then I'm giving a pie to one of my friends. Because I know they love this. So they'll be surprised. All right, that's all mixed. want to take a spoon and try it. Mm. Wow, is it good. Mm -mm -mm. So I'll pour half of the mixture on here. And this other half is for my other pie. See how good that looks? Making sure it's all even. So now I'll place this in my fridge for a couple of hours, then I'll slice it. Super duper good. See how easy this was? Now that we're all done with our Thanksgiving dinner, it is dessert time. Thanks so much for watching me make my homemade ricotta pumpkin cheesecake. It's super duper good and very easy to make, so give it a try. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to Home Cooking with Cheryl and watching me make one of my family's favorite recipes. Give it a try.